the dog days of summer, so we need to take extra precautions to make sure our furry family members are happy and healthy in this Central Valley heat. Joining us this afternoon, we have certified dog behavior consultant Emily Scott to give us tips on how to keep our dogs safe this summer. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Maddie. How are you today? I'm good. And good. we have a little rock star over here, Ferris. Ferris is the most wonderful golden retriever puppy. He's there actually he a pure golden retriever. He's just a cream wow. white color. Um, he is just the sweetest, and he's only four months old. Only. Oh, he's going to be a moose. So look at those paws. Huge paws. <laughs> you would never guess he's a puppy. Though, oh, I know. Too. He's, he's huge. So well trained. Yeah, he's a good boy. Well, I know the big thing, especially for Ferris and all the dogs out there, is the heat. I mean, we've had triple digit heat every day, and we're talking about heat exhaustion, heat stroke. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, I. You can't talk about this enough to the public. Um, mm -hmm. I was on the way over here today. I saw a guy who was it's 102 out. He was jogging with his dog. Oh. And I just, I just. I'm amazed at how people just don't think about this kind of stuff. But yeah. the reality is that they are not terribly efficient with heat management. And so the only way that they're able to cool off is through breathing through their mouth. Okay. So some breeds really struggle with it if they have a, a snub nose, like your boxers oh, yeah. and your pugs and your shih tzus, those kind of dogs. Mm -hmm. They struggle even more because they really have no airflow. Oh, so geez. if it's warm or they get overheated at all, they, it's really critical they can go into heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Um, the signs of that typically are they'll, um, they, they excessive panting, drooling, they get kind of glassy eyes, they lay down, they won't get up, um, they can't drink water. Um, they'll even collapse. Oh. So obviously, if you get that far ahead and they get a temperature over 104, 105, I mean, it's really critical. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to avoid that by making sure that they stay cool, that they stay well hydrated, Absolutely. and that you're avoiding taking them out and doing excessive exercise in the heat. For yeah. sure. I mean, we got to think about it. We're in shorts and a t-shirt, and we're hot. And imagine putting all this fur on top of it. Oh, that. well, that's right. That's right. And it brings up a good point. I see a lot of people who shave their dogs down in the summer because they think that'll help them stay cooler. But the reality mm -hmm. is, the, even the coated dogs need their coat for insulation. In the hot and the cold. Okay. So if you remove the coat for a coated dog, it actually makes them hotter, believe oh, it or not. Wow. Yeah. So we really want to maintain the coat. Obviously, you can brush like crazy and get out the undercoat, but you really don't want to shave them. It's really uncomfortable for them. Well, that's a great tip to know. I didn't even realize. Yeah. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, with the heat exhaustion, heat stroke, if you start seeing some of those signs you were talking about, what are some things you can do to help? Well, you want to cool them down right away. You get them mm -hmm. in a, a pool, you get them in the, with the hose, um, give them as much water, dump water on them, uh, you know, whatever. You can do to bring the body temperature down, just okay. like in humans. And if they won't take water, you got to get them to the ER right away so they can get them in, in, you know, in fluids. You can also do ice packs. You can cover them in ice. Um, okay. But the goal is just to try and bring down the body temperature. Now, um, Ferris here is modeling this wonderful little uh, bandana that I is actually so meant for cooling dogs down. You actually okay. fill it with water, um, and they wear it, and it kind of keeps them cool around the neck area. Um, and then as it kind of dries out, you put water on it again. But there's a lot of products out idea. now for um, to help puppies. And all dogs just stay cooler. Wow, that is an amazing thing to have. Yeah. On top of that, we were kind of talking about with their paws too. When the pavement gets hot, I mean, it's hotter sometimes than just the air. It's a lot hotter than the air, yeah. and people don't realize. Well, it's 85; it should be fine to walk. But actually, if you were to put your your hand on the on the concrete or on the asphalt, it's double double the amount. So um, there, we have the five second rule. So you want to okay. use the back of your hand and you put your hand down on the ground for five full seconds. And if okay. it feels too hot for you, then it's going to be too hot for their feet. And if it gets too hot for their feet, it burns the pads mm -hmm. and it burns off the pads and it's incredibly painful. Uh -huh. So I know some people like to use um, booties and that could be useful. Mm -hmm. But in general, I, especially in the valley here, if it's over 80, 85, you want to be very careful about doing long walks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying just briefly with different types of dogs. It can be a little more susceptible to heat stroke or exhaustion? Yeah, the short faced dogs, the short nosed dogs, okay. um, that's technically called brachiocephalic breeds. Those breeds, your boxers, your shih tzus, your bulldogs, any dogs that have a smooshed in nose, those dogs don't um, breathe well, so they don't. They aren't able to cool their body down because they're having a hard time breathing. So it takes. It's much easier for them to get heat exhaustion because they can't breathe. Okay. So I was working with a client not too long ago that we were just doing a little bit of work with their bull mastiff out in the yard, maybe 10 minutes, and I started seeing signs of oh. heat exhaustion. And we, it was probably 85, but for him, he was really struggling. So yeah. you know, we immediately went inside, put him in the AC, gave him a bunch of water, and he he, he came out of it very quickly. But it can happen really fast for mm -hmm. those breeds in particular. Absolutely. Thank you so much for giving us all these amazing tips to keep all of our little furry friends like Ferris here safe and nice and cool for the summer. Thank you so much for Oh, coming. you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, Ferris. <laughs>